don't tell anyone that you've used the Minolta 9. You should say instead that you've experienced the 9. This camera is not like any other. The 9 defies superlatives. It, it does not need them. The 9 carries itself with a quiet, understated confidence unlike any other camera ever made. What can I even say about the most high specification 35mm film camera ever made? This camera is gearhead pornography at its most refined. Everything about the 9 sounds unrealistic. 1 12,000th of a second for the fastest shutter speed, autofocus capable of finding its target in an EV range from negative 1 to 18, an accurate metering range of 0 to 20 EV, flash sync at 1 300th of a second, the fastest shutter curtain travel speed of any camera made to date, stainless steel frame construction, weather sealing, and a viewfinder with 100% frame coverage up to 22 millimeters behind the eyepiece. This camera has so many gonzo specs that losing oneself in the specs section poses no difficulty. But to lose oneself in the specifications would be a tragedy, especially if it came at the cost of losing out on the experience of using this camera. Of all the film cameras I've used, this is easily the most fun, exciting, and enjoyable. No other film camera I've used works as well as a photographic partner. I picked up my 9 the day it arrived, loaded it with a test roll, shot it during a stroll around my neighborhood, and it was like giving an old college friend a handshake and a bro hug. It felt welcome and familiar in my hands, and using it, making critical adjustments to exposure and flash compensation by feel, changing the aperture or shutter speed settings by feel, and having all the controls at my fingers through a superb dial-based interface made this the easiest to use advanced professional grade camera that I've ever held. Once you know the controls and layout, there's no reason to take your eye away from the viewfinder to adjust a setting. Every important photographic function can be accessed and changed with your fingers while holding the 9 up to your eye. The 9 allows a photographer to focus on their subject and composition and intuitively address the technical elements without losing their train of thought on the photo. Minolta put countless hours, extensive thought, diligent design, and a whole lot of money into the Nine's design. And from it, they got one of the most coveted, though also least well-known, professional bodies of the late 1990s. But the Nine couldn't save Minolta, and no successor to it arrived with the subsequent and final generation of Maxim film bodies. The Nine's DNA lives on today in the high-end Sony DSLRs that can trace their ergonomic and interface elements back to the Nine. The Nine is, in many ways, a tragic Shakespearean figure. It failed to invigorate Minolta's professional system body lineup. The Nine was a singular camera without equal, peerless in the Minolta lineup. Many would argue, and I would agree, the 9 is singular among professional grade cameras. Not since the X1 had Minolta made a serious attempt to create a professional flagship body. And, like the X1, the 9 was a magnificent camera that failed to convert users. But for those of us lucky enough to get one, fortunate enough to experience it. It's a largely unknown gem that spoils our tastes for everything else. The 9 is a Brahma bull that's decided there's no reason for all that bucking. There's no sense of having to control or fight this camera as there can be with other professional grade cameras from the 90s. The 9 has power and capabilities, but no needless fluff. 
It is a pure photographic tool and a fantastic creative companion. The 9 is a Lamborghini, but not one of those old ones that spends its time trying to kill you in the corners and straightaways. The 9 cooperates, uses the power under the hood when needed, and restrains it when not. The 9 can do a lot with its Gonzo specs, but it doesn't need to all the time. The 9 is as good at the routine shots as the specialty ones that need the fastest shutter speed or flash sync speed ever made for a camera. The 9 is a gold medal decathlete. That's the best way to describe it. It can do a lot for a long time and do everything it has to do well and not make any of it look hard. For my bachelor party hike, I brought my 9 on purpose. We hiked 9 miles through sequoias, up hillsides, to Battery Point, and finished the day with an unhealthy volume of cheeseburgers. I used the hike as an excuse to put the 9 through some paces. I'd picked up a chipped M42 to Alpha adapter, brought a couple of old M42 lenses along, including my Takamar fisheye. I've said this before in other reviews, but a camera that can accurately meter a fisheye lens is a good camera, or at least it has a good meter. The wider the lens, the harder the metering becomes, especially with the sun in the frame. The 9 handles a fisheye lens like a concert cellist handles practice scales, with ease. I brought my 9 on my honeymoon by accident. I put it in my car for the drive out to our wedding venue, a park in Lake Tahoe, and plan to use it for the family reunion and some astrophotography shots in the days and nights before the wedding. It landed in my camera bag by mistake. Bringing it was one of the best camera decisions I made on the trip. The Alpha took a few of my best photos on that trip, but mostly it did a lot of the daily legwork, sitting in the front seat with us as we honeymooned across six states and 2,800 miles. To use a 9 is a joy and a privilege. It's worth whatever money you pay. I bought mine from a dealer in Japan. I had badge snobbery, I admit it. I wanted the Alpha, not the Maxim, not the Dynax. And I paid $195 for the camera body at the end of 2015, and that's a steal. So what can I even say about the Alpha 9? Nothing. English fails at expressing far extremes. Go on, try it. Try to describe the greatest joy you've felt in words that don't sound trite. Try to describe the greatest sadness of severe loss you felt in words that don't sound hollow. English fails. The Alpha 9 occupies an extreme awe and photographic pleasure beyond the capacity of words to express. So what I can say is this. If you have a 9, you know what I mean. And if you don't, those of us who do can't wait to welcome you to the club.